Hi guys, my name's Gil Meller. I'm a chef and food writer, and we're on the road again, cooking in the Uni Karu 12G. It's a lovely little oven, very, very portable, the sort of thing you can just sling in the back of the landy, head somewhere beautiful, and cook something delicious. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Despite the weather, despite the odd rain shower, we're gonna be cooking my bonfire night wedges with a firecracker mayo. It's super delicious, the sort of dish you can put down on the table and all your mates just dive in, few ciders, few beers, spot on. So this is a fairly simple recipe to bring together, but there are a few stages to it. We're gonna kick things off by blistering the chilies in the uni. So I've got the oven nice and hot, about 400 degrees C. We're gonna put the chilies out on a tray and roast them in the oven. The idea is to blister the skins and soften the flesh. Once the skins are nice and black, we can take the chilies out and set them aside and turn our attention to the spuds. So I've got some white potatoes here. They're actually Maris Piper, but any other variety of large white main crop potato will do. We're gonna cut them into wedges, leaving the skin on. You don't need to peel that away. It actually adds to the texture. Each potato can be cut into six or eight wedges and we're going to scatter them out over the tray. We're going to trickle the potatoes with good olive oil and season them with plenty of sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. We're going to scatter over some cracked fennel seed, some cracked coriander seed, a healthy spoonful or two of smoked paprika and then we're going to get them in the oven roasting away. Make sure the oven's nice and hot but you haven't got too much flame. Too much flame and you're gonna burn the potatoes before they're tender in the middle. As the potatoes are cooking, give them a turn every so often. Use a spatula just to turn the potatoes in the tray so they cook nice and evenly. After about 25 to 30 minutes, the potatoes are gonna be nice and soft and starting to caramelize around the edges. Now we're gonna add some thyme, some fresh rosemary, lemon zest, and a touch more olive oil, just to ensure that everything's lovely and crispy. While they're finishing off, we'll just bring the mayonnaise together, peel the chilies, take out the seeds, and finally chop the flesh. You almost want it to be a puree. We're gonna stir that chili puree into some really good mayonnaise, along with some extra virgin olive oil, pinch of salt and pepper, and a squeeze of lemon just for the acidity. Stir that all together and set it aside. To finish the bonfire night wedges, we're just gonna take them out, chop some parsley, scatter that over the top, slap down the firecracker mayo, and let everyone dig in. Lemony, crunchy, and the mayo, very spicy. For this and more recipes, head to uni.com.